We're going to continue on trying to solve these um, formulas for a specific variable. In this one we have V equals one-third AH and this is a volume formula but we don't really need to know that. All we have to do is do what it tells us. We need to solve this formula for A. So when we're done we want to see A equals something. So let's see, I'm going to write it out a little bit um, bigger so I can work with it. Now the first thing that I notice in here is that we have a fraction. Most of the time everybody hates dealing with fractions. So how about if we get rid of that? The way we get rid of fractions is multiplying through by the common denominator. So if we were to multiply both sides by 3, look what would happen. 1 third times 3 is 1. That's why we multiply by it. So now we have 3 times V is equal to A times H. Now we're solving for A. Every time I do a step, usually I go back to the problem and say, okay, which variable am I supposed to be getting alone? Just so you don't get confused. We need A to be all alone. But right now it's multiplied by H. So the opposite of multiplying by H would be to divide both sides by H. When we do that, now we have 3V divided by H is equal to A. Because A is alone, we have done our job and we have solved that equation for A. Let's look at the next one. It looks a little bit more complicated, but it's really not as long as we can keep um, our algebra skills in mind. In this case, we're solving this, which is a surface area formula, but we are solving this for H. That means I want to get this variable right here, this H, all by itself and move everything else over. Well, here we have, let's analyze what's going on with H. We have things that are being multiplied to it. This first term says, 2 times pi times r times h. So all of these things are being multiplied to it and all of these things are being added. It's easier to undo the addition first. So let's do that. The opposite of adding 2 pi r squared would be to subtract 2 pi r squared. Now on the left hand side we'd have s minus 2 pi r squared. We can't combine those because we don't know what those variables are. But we can write it as the subtraction. So that's s minus 2 pi r squared equals 2 pi r h. Alright, regrouping, looking back up here, I'm supposed to be solving for H, so I need to get this H all by itself. Right now it's being multiplied by all of these things. The opposite of that would be to divide by them. So when I divide both sides by 2 pi r, I'm left with S minus 2 pi r squared over 2 pi r equals h. Now that can simplify a little bit more, but um, for these specific purposes we're just going to leave it as is.